match of elimination quarterfinals. We're going to be seeing Impala on the Koji use. I believe that's also the fate. Uh, quite the skin, quite the crossover. But I'm not aware of. And already, Impala just going to be off stage. Use patrolling the stage and able to get that down. In. Use trying to patrol the edge right there, able to pick up a sidelight nair coming out from Use. Probably trying to go for a sidelight there instead. There you go, this time around. Uh, that is not a fate, that's a dusk. I that's didn't dusk. I didn't call it out. I didn't call it out because I also was unsure, but uh, very underrepresented crossover here, but a very good one uh, still. Yeah, I was gonna say my fault, guys. Dusk, we have yeah. the legend swap. We've been talking about this so much. Are we gonna see a legend swap? Yes, and it's going to be swapping over to the dusk. So no excellent. one would have seen this coming. Not even us. So I want to why. I'd love to be able to find out some of users' reasoning. But right now, everybody, we have a live match. Side sidelight sidelight. Side not enough to be able to KO. You said it was deceptively weak. Well, the is coming into play now. Impala able to get back up. He still has a little bit of chip damage to go, though, before he's able to start looking for those knockouts. Able to connect a recovery. The GC Sig, what a massive call out. Not going to be connecting, though. Use able to pick up a stair off of the landing. Will he go off stage? It's going to be with a signature, but Impala was ready for it. Okay, oh, okay, back to the game. Use still not able to close out this KO. Try to be nice and patient. Impala, love that dodge. Able to avoid the downing. Okay, looking for the end light jump call out. Impala not going for a lot of end lights at all. Finally, the side of the KOs, and Yuz has a gentle but subtle lead. Very, very gentle lead indeed. Uh, moving in here, uh, moving forward here in the first game, uh, they're gentle enough for Impala to be able to take that off with only a D-Light Sayer coming off the left side of the screen as we're moving into the second stock. Now Impala with the weapon advantage, looking to get something started on the bow. Okay, missing that end light. Yu's gonna find an end light of his own. Comes in with the side of, I wonder why Impala's opting to go for so many end lights. Yu's has not been really jumping into a zone where that could cover. I mean, uh, end light, one of the strongest uh, tools on the kit for bow. Yu seems to just be really, really good at, uh, at fighting bow. Oh yeah, he seems comfortable indeed. Gets the neutral out, comes back onto the stage. Not able to get another neutral out, but still is able to reset. Use such an aggressive landing. This is completely even, Polly. Completely even so far. It's anyone's game as we continue to take even trades here, left and right. This time around, it's going to be Use dominating the stage control. Impala, what a nice dare. I really like the idea, but Use was not far enough down for that co to connect. And Paula, I feel like he has been stuck off stage for most of this game. Yuse has yeah. been threatening him, and he has been keeping him out. If I'm Paula, get me back. Please, let me in. I want to play the game. I want to be on the stage. Yuse grabbing that stage control as often as and as hard as he can. Able to pick up. Uh, actually, wanted to probably stick to the sword there, but not able to get the Jogo correctly. Gets the next weapon spawn though, blessed by Odin with a really good spawn. The second one spawns right on top of him as well as he knocked Impala off stage. The lead, he's running away with it, able to get the weapon starve again. Impala can't get a weapon. Let's look what your own arm is able to do. Okay, picking up the oil now, able to get the new trilla, just dashed up, waiting back a little bit, able to get the D-Light Sider, that's used off stage. that's a down stage spike, weapon toss, closes it out against the Ezio, and now, sword in hand, let's see what Impala is going to be able to make happen here. He has a bit of damage to make up for, but he can definitely get it started, he needs a down a new trilla, a D-Light something. Sidelight Sarah comes out, knocking Impala away, not able to get the edge guard, though Impala is so good. I mean, you mentioned it before, Impala has been off stage for such a large duration of this game, but Yuse has not been able to fully capitalize off of that. The edge guards have been kind of weak, or rather Impala has been that good at getting back up. Oh, Sidelight, okay, he wanted to see what he would do, or maybe Yuse didn't it put Sider at the right timing. I don't know, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Dash jump neutral, not able to connect. That one does, though. Sidelight gets whipped, punished by the downer. Yuse is consistently spacing out Impala. Able to get the dare out, and the weapon throw is going to seal the deal as Yuse picks up the first game of the set. Impala played a lot of this game off stage. Yuse kept him off. Yuse really, really denied him again and again with so many different downers, and it did not feel like Impala was able to get the bulk of his damage output. But again, when it comes to players of this caliber, you cannot count them out after game one. Trust in their ability to adapt and change.
Absolutely, and I, I do want to quickly correct myself. Uh, I, I misspoke earlier. This is an Ezio and not the dust uh, that we are seeing. It happens to everyone, eh? Uh, either way, use continuing on this sword. Now, the signature, I believe that was almost picking Impala up. The signature usage, is it? I feel like it's stronger here, at least more frequent than we were seeing from the Faith earlier. Yeah, the only thing that we saw out of the Faith was a couple of N-Sigs, and now, okay, just the able to get it. Well. Yeah, use definitely a comfortable Ezio player. Not what I would have expected, but hey, you know what? It is definitely working out for them. That being said, when we're talking about comfortable, Impala looking so much more comfortable. GCD like to get back onto the stage. Use patrolling, slowing it down. Impala trying to get a preemptive jump call out. D light sided, pushing him off. This is so back and forth now. Now, one of the large adjustments that can be made, we're already seeing one. Use utilizing that down signature way more than he was before. Let's see how these edge guards have developed. Impala not able to get back up. There you go. That's a better edge guard. That's an excellent one, and Use has, once again, a pretty comfortable lead. Oil on hand once again, Impala has been struggling to get in against it. Just, again, I love that Impala doesn't opt to immediately pick up a weapon. He wants to keep on pressuring somebody off stage because it just leads to more damage that way. Use patrolling the ground right now, able to pick up that Sayer, looking to get any kind of extension on this lead that they have so far. They just have to sustain this dock for as long as possible. Throwing out a couple of aerials, getting that chip damage, and light comes out. Signature into the recovery. He loves that combo. It keeps working. Impala isn't spacing that signature. Yeah, I wonder what Impala could be doing differently. Maybe, I don't know, jumping out of it, but that's okay. GCD light into the side of good classic solid bread and butter. Impala has brought himself back into the game. He is still opting to play with the sword and not at all the bow. Yeah, the sword has been working out phenomenally for Impala so far, and the, the bow was definitely, you know, the cracks That's were showing it. in the first game, and we're starting to see why Impala is sticking to it. I mean, I go on a monologue for like 15 seconds, and Impala has been able to close out this lead pretty much. Okay, being nice and patient, looking for the down, and it doesn't fight it quite yet. Use back and off for just a second, eats an end light. Impala dashing into D light down, and puts Use off stage, tries to back up, trying to get a whiff punish. Use just finds a side, and shoves him back off once again. So much of this game is played with Impala trying to get back on. Able to pick up that Nair, going into the true combo as well. Use, using those D lights very, very well, able to pick up the landings off of Impala. And yet again, we find ourselves in a very familiar situation. I'm starting to get some deja vu because because Yus has a slight lead and is trying to push it. Gets that side light just to be able to kick him off, kick him off stage. Picking up ult is what I would say. Yus continuing to starve Impala. Impala finding that side light, opting to give up the stage. Yus wanted to go for a bit of a tricky GC sig. It did not come out. Crossing him up, finds that side ult. Impala, you need to close. How do we close? How does Yus keep avoiding us? Closing has been a really, really large problem, and uh, use. I mean, to be fair, use has not been able to get that much uh, uh, reward off of it so far. Impala has been able to play quite safely, uh, but it is starting to rack up. Even though it's very little by by every single interaction, uh, it's it's taking way too long. Impala is down at orange now. No edge guards, no KOs off the top, not even able to connect these D-Lights. How many of those have we seen so far so today? So many, so many. Yus is using that so much against Impala, and it keeps working. That signature, I mean, it's in the correct oh. frame that Yus needs, and it keeps working. He tries to go for another one, and Impala is not letting that one hit, not letting it slide. Very doable game. Sword on hand. You can make long extended combo strings happen. Yus doesn't find the side light, and Impala finds one of his own. The recovery doesn't come out, and that's going to be the whiff punish. That is the tragedy of any recovery this game, which is, hey, it's active, it's got a nice big hitbox on it, but if you with it, even if you want to, like, fade back with it, it's so reactable and punishable. I was wondering if Yus is ever going to be swapping off that fate. Uh, he did, and I mean, I feel like I've been rewarded. This this Ezio has been super, super good. Um, one of the things I do want to highlight, though, is that Impala still has it in them. We saw some really, really good moments of almost enlightenment com coming out from Impala, where he was playing incredibly well. This is still anyone's game, but Impala Impala has such a long way to go. He's down 2-0. Question is, how much does he want it? Can he keep himself focused? Can he get these KOs? That is the thing that I feel like if he figures out, that will give him the biggest fighting chance. It's a battle of world champions right now. But Yus, the most recent one, has himself a significant lead so far in the set. Let's see if he's able to pick up a lead in this first stock as well. And light recovery, just a nice safe string to go for. Side light dashing off with that end light as well. D light, neutral light, almost gets that end sig as well. And Ooh. there it is. Impala, we so back. D light end sig, we're so back. Sticking to that orb. I mean, you were on that sword a whole lot last game. Maybe this is the adjustment that he needs. Uh, starting to use some of those tricks that he's got figured out. 
The damage lead is in safe. Yus is unable to do anything about it. The juggling, as as you know, uh, Impala mentioned on the interview himself. Whenever he starts to get that juggle, he does not stop. This is the game plan. It's all coming together, baby. But right now, Yus wanting to put a quick stop to it. Side light side it goes off stage. Dash jump down and it doesn't come out. And Impala love that neutral light fading back with it. It's so active. It still hits people in front of you. GC Decent as well to be able to close out that stock. This is a different man. Who How is does he? Impala do it? How does Impala do it? Such a massive change in his gameplay. He's three stocks against one now, against the player that he's been struggling to beat for two games straight. You've got to stay flexible. You have to stay flexible and you have to adapt. The GCN sync doesn't come out, but Impala, I mean, this is his game right now. Unless Yuse is able to do something incredible here. Dash jumping in there, looking for the jump call out. Slides in, gets that end light as well. And the damage just does not stop. The comeback is so unlikely at this point for use Impala only a couple of attacks away from getting okay. use to knockout range at this point the like round pound I mean Impala is starting to go for some funky options here he knows that this is close to being over yeah that was insane uh, there's no other way to put it that is called I'm going to go for the hardest lead of all time the cider doesn't actually connect the recovery doesn't KO either the neutral light does not either this can be the difficulty of soil which is if you're not connecting a D light getting those KO options can be a little bit difficult that's the end light that's the stock you still have quite a bit of damage to make up how does use do it i mean you have more than damage you have damage then a stock and then damage again all the while you can barely take any attacks from impala it's going to be near impossible as impala is just looking to close this out signature could have done it but use is able to get that punish gc delight recovery impala is still in the game he puts himself on the scoreboard he's not finished we're so bad. This is the adaptation so that we've wanted to see the entire time. And so what happened? Impala opted to play a little bit more with the bow. He was catching Hughes, leaning into him so much. And he finally got a couple of leads on his movement, on a couple of his defensive options. So he was able to string along so many bow hits over and over and over again. Hughes did not seem comfortable that game. Let's not count out Hughes, though. This is Hughes. This is the 23 champion. This is not somebody to mess with at all. I mean, something that I did see this only ever so slightly concerned is that, you know, Impala Sword is still slightly struggling against use right now. So one of his winning conditions is to have that sword, bow in hand. And what am I talking about? 15 seconds into the game, use has already picked up such an, such an amazing lead and he keeps it pushing. Yeah, when it comes to the sword versus sword duel, use is coming out on top again and again and again. He is so proficient with it. He's played so much Jayun, of course. Sidelight just to be able to go ahead and push him off. Oh gosh, Impala, if I'm Impala, I don't want this weapon. Get this thing off of me. Please. Please, let go. Yeah, Impala evidently disagrees, not going for that weapon throw. D the signature is going to be picking up though, and that's almost a full stock lead here in the match point for top four. That's right, and I do wonder if it is as simple as, hey, if he has bow, he wins, if he has sword, he doesn't. Let's go. Probably is it. Yeah, it's, it's maybe not, but you know what? Let's go find out if that's true. Okay, GC D-Light, again, the amount of GC D-Lights he has gotten away with to come back onto the stage. God, I wish that was me when I play bow. Let's indeed see how true that is. I'm, I'm keeping my eyes glued on Impala right now. He can definitely do this, but Yus has proven to be a very, very tough force to be reckoned with here. Picking up the sword. Okay. The true combo as well. That's right. Oh gosh, Impala needs a way to be able to make it back onto the stage. He is so afraid. Yus, that move has so little end lag that Impala just has to respect it. He's reset neutral. He doesn't have a weapon on hand. He gets the end light. That is the opportunity to pick up the sword. End light again, just to be able to push use off the problem in game one and game two was the closing and paula how do you close how do you ko use like this and use i mean he's building up more and more damage he's still ever so slightly winning these trades winning these neutral interactions he's getting close to a knockout side lights there that's going to seal the deal we got three stocks against one right now use is dominating he is dominating he is spacing him out and paula needs to pull a fast one here he needs a lot of adaptations here to be able to overcome this he gets the neutral in. he has the bow on hand he whiffs the recovery that would have been the KO off the top. That recovery way too low, close to the ground. And maybe the first one wouldn't have KO'd either. Sido just to be able to push him off stage. Weapon toss, is that enough? Yes, it is. Basically a fresh stock. Polly, do you believe? He's got a far way to go, but it's not over until it's over, Dara. Impala has showed us what he's capable of, and he's capable of a whole lot. Yus has been looking incredibly good this game, though. 
it's very hard to say. And Paula not able to get the neutral used, finding so many of these hits. He is winning so many neutral exchanges again and again. Sidelight is a good off me option. Okay, picking up the sword once again. The D light, it's just spaced far enough that Yuz was not able to quit punish it. Okay, catching the jump. This is a duel. This is a duel and a half. Still going quite even, Impala. He's gonna need to start pushing this advantage, getting some reads or something, because, I mean, if, if this goes on for any longer, Yuz is getting closer to finding this knockout. He loves that GCD light. It's how he keeps coming back on. But, oh my gosh, there it is again. Yuz has gotten so much mileage off of it. This Ezio switch is amazing. And Paula, no weapon on hand, finally gets a side light. But GCD light, grab pow, chase dodge down, and light whips, picks up the bow, misses the D light. How does he get this next hit? Trying to get that weapon, sidelight to push him away, has the orb in hand, I smell the dare, it comes out, knocking Impala away, wants to commit for the offstage, recovery won't connect though, Sayer, that's going to be it, 3-1, Yus is going to be advancing into top four, meaning that we have three South American players in top four, Amazing, what a set. Incredible few views, it is SA all the way, it is Sandstorm versus this entire legion, which is something that we talked about way earlier in this weekend, amazing stuff to use, knocking down a player.